the, the further you go, the, the, the more it builds and the more the occasions get. And if you can't get motivated as a young footballer uh, in these type of games, then you're in the wrong sports. We've done all the prep that we need to do. We know how to win the game. We know their weaknesses and we know our strengths, which is important. We know that this is a, a must-win game. Every game is a must-win game, but if we don't win this, we're out. Anything's possible. We're a great team and I believe that we will win. What a great night under the light, big road. What more can the boys win? Well, you know, we've got to be on The competition is everything. As a young youth team player, I think, for every player throughout the country, the FA Youth Cup is the pinnacle. You know, it is the tournament that you want to win. Uh, and every youth player under 18 wants to win that tournament. For me, having been a winner and, you know, being a winner many, many years ago, still holds really, really fond memories. And it was such a great night. I, I very, very clearly remember winning the trophy and sort of like jogging round on the lap of honour and that was just amazing. The Everton game, I thought they were magnificent, um, fully deserved the win and now they've been sort of rewarded with a, another huge occasion, a game against Arsenal. It, it's going to be tough. Um, I, I would back this team 100% against any team up and down the country if they all work hard for each other and believe in themselves. As a youth player, this is like, you know, this is the biggest event that like, you can be involved in. Like trying to trying to get your place in the starting eleven. Like it's tough. You got everyone fighting for like your positions, but you know, like yeah, no, it's brilliant. Like against Everton, like that win. I think that's the you know biggest win this season so far. And hopefully for, Ever uh, for sorry for Arsenal, you know, we can get another win and just keep pushing on. You know, obviously my first first FA Youth Cup game that I've been involved in, which you know. Had a bit of nerves going in before the game, but yeah, I rarely, rarely ever score, so you know it meant, yeah, it meant everything. Yeah, uh, my dad came came to watch, which is nice. Um, so yeah, spoke to him after the game. You know, happy to see him. And then called my called my mum, you know, brother and sister straight away. Yeah, and they were they were all buzzing for me. They they were watching on their TV, so telling me what it was like when I scored. So yeah. Scoring against Lincoln, I think that was like one of the highs of my career so far. I think joining this club since under six, then signing my first contract for under nines, I think that's all what's been leading up to. Like I've had lots of ups and lots of downs as well. So it's just obviously trying to be, you know, consistent throughout all the age groups to obviously work to this moment now, which you know, it's, yeah, it's fantastic. I think we'll be the best out of each other, you know, just the competitiveness in the training and stuff and just going at it all the time, you know, we don't like to take the easy way, we don't like to take off of the gas, we just always, always, always trying to work hard and become better, always pushing each other. You don't get opportunities like this often, you know, so you just try to take it the best you can. I can get a little bit nervous, but you know, at that point you just got to try to calm yourself down, be like, okay, Michael, you're at it right now, you know, just focus on the game, but when you do realise all the fans are there, you know, coaches there, big games, just like, it can get overwhelming, but you know, got to put that aside. All of these things going on in your mind, building up to the game, or I think just to put the, the, Watford, the Watford shirt on, the yellow shirt at home, in front of the fans at Vic Road, it's massive. It's a proud moment for all of us. The FA Youth Cup makes it that bit more special, especially being in front of all our family, friends, um, so yeah.
great night under the light, big road. What more can the boys want? You know, it's a great occasion against a great opposition. Let's hope the boys really um, have a great performance. Teams are on their way then, out of the Vicarage Road Tunnel to the familiar sound of Z cars. Now, chance for Adrian Blake. Space for him early on. Adrian Blake into the pit here. Looking for the far post and Andrew Cochran! What a start! What a start for Watford! Adrian Blake down the left-hand side and Michael Anukoku at the far post has bundled it over the line. Hey, stay! Get up, get up the boat! It's Equamina. Crosses too high for Andy Yemi, it will come to Blake. Adrian Blake teasing the defender. Ah! It's 2-0! How about that? with the assist again, and Toby Adeyemo touches it in from a couple of yards. And inside 15 minutes here, Watford have opened up a two-goal advantage. Toby Adeyemo getting on the score sheet. He likes scoring at Vicarage Road. It's a big 10 minutes for the young Hornets, have to score the next goal. It's always a difficult period when you're, when you're trailing 4-2 because players, opposition players can start to cheat in, in high areas of the pitch which then you try to get on the ball and, and take the ball forwards, lose possession and then they've got an overload straight away. So um, it's a real tough, tough predicament now for us. Well, it wasn't the result we wanted. In terms of summing up this, this Watford display, I mean, to take they came to Arsenal and create that advantage. Um, it was great. They gave me all the, their effort, and they always do. It's, uh, I think it's just a learning curve for a lot of them, especially being 2 0 up so early, uh, dealing with you know, the pressure that's ultimately going to come. I'm, I'm really proud of them uh, to a man. You know, they, as I said, they've given me the all. They've, They've really progressed, not only as individuals, but as a, as a team as well. Uh, they showed togetherness, they showed spirit, they showed fight, uh, and they showed quality as well. So, as I said, for, I'm really proud of them. They should be really proud of themselves. Uh, and not only they've done the club really proud, they've done their families really proud as well. So, they should obviously take tonight. You know, it's, it's going to hurt. It will hurt, probably not tonight, but probably for a few days but then after that looking back on their performances uh, they should be really proud of what they've done. Obviously it's, it's really disappointing like being knocked out this competition but every game leads you in good stead for the next and obviously you might lose a youth cup game but the longevity of it is can you have a career in football so obviously we haven't we haven't won the youth cup now but it's can you look forward can you play in the FA Cup 
those sort of bigger competitions on a bigger stage as, as senior players. That's that's the ambition for all of us players in there. So it's just taking these experiences as a youth team player and taking them forward to become a senior player. Cheers, George. Thank you. Thank you.